Christmas time, a special time for everyone in Chiseldon. A time once more for merry housewives to fill their Christmas trolleys to overflowing and jockey for position on the way to the checkouts. And then a time to trim the tree. A time when cherubic carolers call on happy homesteads. Yes, everywhere in Chiselton, there was that extra special sense of cheer. Don't you just love Christmas, Willie? Okay. Can't stand all the shop and granny. Yo, Happy Christmas! Merry Christmas! Yes, Christmas was coming and the goose was getting fat. But there was no goose at all over at the Villa Villainous. Half a mince pie. What kind of Christmas am I going to have with only half a mince pie in my fitty cupboard? What we need is some money, Uncle. I know what we need, you tinsel tiddly wanker. And we've no Christmas tree neither, boss. No any decorations. Father Christmas won't be coming yet, Dustin. It's another five days. But events that December 20th day were soon to take an unexpected turn. What do you want, Postman Pew? More rotten brown envelopes with windows in them, I suppose? Not today, Scunner Campbell. What's that? A collecting box. Would you like to contribute to the Chiselton Orphans Christmas Party? I most certainly would not. And as far as people with only half a mince pie in the foodie cupboards are concerned, the Chiselton Orphans can get stuffed. <laughs> Unlike the Scunner Campbell, however, Super Gran was full of the festive spirit that day. <sighs> We've got the decorations decorated and the mince pies are ready. Now, what else? Aha, I know. Of course, we've got to rehearse the nativity, haven't we, Willie? I said, haven't we, Willie? Do we have to? Come along. But Willie Dalgleish Keegan Smith had good reason for not looking forward to the nativity this year. Is she? Me? Why not, Willie? It's very important. And someone's got to be one. But Edison's Mary. Even Ben's an angel, so why do I have to be a rotten sheep? Oh, tosh, tatty willy. Here, I tell you what. If you're a very good wee sheep for your old gran, I might just give you a special Christmas treat. What kind of Christmas treat? Well, um, how's about a trip to the circus? Always comes to the chisels in the Christmas time. I still don't want to be a rotten sheep. Yes, once again, in common with other towns and villages across the nation, the good people of Chiselton just couldn't wait for the circus to arrive in town. <laughs> But 
but not even the prospect of a forthcoming circus could lift the spirits of the Scunner Campbell. There's only one thing for it, you know, boss. I know, I know. I'm going to have to get a job. And so it came to pass later that same day. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Do you like to come up and visit Santa's Crow, do we? It's the fifth floor in Fairyland. It'll only cost your mummy a, an arm and a leg for a rip-off pressy. Hi! You're not the real father, Christmas. Push off, pie face. <laughs> He's old and kind with real white hair and whiskers. How would you like my sack in your gob, you fur-coated frump? Eh? Oh, oh, you're kicking oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Meanwhile, as the Santa Scunner fooled no one, the rehearsals for the nativity were underway. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. <laughs> and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the Tell you something, invent a block. What's that, Willie? I've just about had enough of this act to knock for one day. Acting is a very splendid profession, Willie. Not if you're a rotten sheep, it is. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hey ben. What? Fancy getting out of here. Where to? The park, the circus is coming. Okay. The shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see. Let us see! Not exactly a big top, though, is it? More a little top. A tatty little top. Hello, boys and boys. Roll up, roll up. All the fun of the circus. Sid Scouse is my name and circus is my game. Like to book a ticket, would you? Most seats available. All parts of the tent. In fact, all the seats are available at the moment. They've got big star prizes and top line acts. Top line acts? Well, nearly top line acts. But where is everybody? Where's all the animals? Where are the clowns? Well, there's me, Sid Scouse, for one, and then there's her. Whiplash Wendy. Whiplash Wendy? Of course, you've seen better days. Now she doubles as Juliana the juggler. <laughs> and this temptation of the trapeze. Got some mug to buy a ticket yet, have you? Not yet, dear heart. Who else you got then apart from you and her? Well, there's Walt Wiggins. Wild West shooter from Wigan. He's fresh back from Walton Hospital, having just shot himself. Then this Peppy. Peppy? You must have heard of Peppy and his exciting stuff, Corgi Act. Played in all the best places he has. The Windsor Castle, the Regent Palace. Royal houses? No, public houses. And who else you got then? Who else? That's it. That's the lot. We do the lot, we do, don't we, lads? Oh, I, we do the lot. Are they buying the tickets then or aren't they, Sid? Will you shut up? It was obvious from the first that nothing in life had ever gone right for Sid Scouse. First there was his appearance. Bert Reynolds had nothing to fear from Sid Scouse. Buy a ticket. Please, buy a ticket. Some treat this is gonna be. My granny bring me here to watch this lot. What happened to Ethel and the elephants, Lionel and the lions? Oi! Wait! Watch this!
Waltz, you won't find many volunteers from the audience with that act. Oh, go away. And there's more! and the Skinner Campbell. Are you sure you wouldn't like to buy a ticket? For pity's sake, Sid, you're flogging a dead horse. I wish I had a dead horse to flog. I'll never give up, you know that, Wendy? Show business is in my blood. I was born in a trunk. Pity you didn't stay there. Good, Mr. Scouse. Good? I'll say we were good. Once upon a time, we were blinking marvellous. Scouse's circus was renowned throughout the land. It was? Hmm. Along with Bertram Mills and Billy Smart. Of course, I was ringmaster then. Ringmaster? You? Yeah. Of course, Wendy was in a heyday then. Long of leg, lizard and lovely. So you can tell how long ago it was. I can hear you. But whatever happened, Mr. Scouse? What happened? The Scottish Circus, that's what happened. Scottish Circus? Shh. It's a showbiz tradition. You must never mention the Scottish lot. But who are they? You must have heard of Mac McLock and the Chocker Jocks. <laughs> they kept following us around. But you not notice just to keep our audiences away. <laughs> Turning signs round. <laughs> Pretty soon they were doing so well. Nick, nearly all my eyes. I should have left too instead of hanging around with you load of deadbeats. I haven't given up, lads. I still lives in hope. Uh. Hope, Mr. Scouse? Hope that... that those glory days will return. <laughs> glory days? Fat chance. All right, it'll take a lot of... It'll take a blinking miracle, more like. Of course she's right. Who is it that can do miracles these days? Eh, yeah, lads? Still one sheep missing, I'm afraid, Supercar. Not to mention one heavenly host. I wonder where they've got to. I'll show them horrible children of Chisholm. The son is going to run his grotto his way, the way he wants to. <laughs> Do I have to wear these costumes, boss? Of course you do. You're Santa's little helpers, aren't you? I know, boss. But have you seen these two? <laughs> Dustin's ever been a fairy before, have you, Dustin? Very nice, Tom, eh? Be right, stupid uncle. There, now. That'll bring the crowds in. For grown-ups, boss. Good day. I mean, why should all those horrible kids have all the fun at Christmas, eh? What about us grown-ups, huh? <laughs> Oh, 
Come along, come along, and sit on Santa's knee. Oh, there she is, Lou. Oh, the week she do. <laughs> now, what's your name, little girl? Petunia. Petunia. Petunia would like a microwave snowman. <laughs> Open it up, dear. <laughs> but unfortunately for a quid, all you get is a signed photo of me. You grot face, grot back. Show it to the out, please, snowman. <laughs> <laughs> around in the range. <laughs> well, now sit down. What's your name, little boy? Walt Wiggins, eh? And what would you like for your Christmas board? Replace your wife with a pastry look-alike. No chance, Walt. Come on. was to give to the poor, not to rob them. Listen, Twinkle Toes, anyone who's got half a mince pie at home deserves all he can get, right? Next one, right in here, please. Oh, happy Xmas, my dearie <laughs> What? <laughs> oh! Santa's pinched me! Oh. <laughs> I thought you were believed as private enterprise. Only the rich allowed in, eh? Black even with you lot. You see if I don't. Christmas ball. I hate it. All this rubbish about goodwill. Who's ever shown me a piece of goodwill, eh? Oh. And you know what you lot can do? You can go to. Fine Christmas this is going to be. Why, I haven't even got enough money for a usual Christmas outing to the circus. No dustin, no circus this year, I'm afraid. No clowns. No pretty prancing ponies. Nothing. I must say, I'm surprised at you, Willie, disappearing like that. And just when you were due on, too. But, Granny... Here am I, trying to help the children of Chiselton with their nativity. But, uh, Granny, someone needs your help much more than the nativity. There is. Scouser's Circus needs your help, Super Gran. On this dear cheer, though Christmas is near, Super Gran is still here.
super good. Oh, well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Scouts' Circus is proud to present live from Wigan. You sure you know what you're doing, Walt? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the act you have all been waiting for, live from Garlic Cinemaire, we present Henry and his horse. Helping Scouse's circus could be just a wee bit difficult, Willie. And so it seemed like the curtain was finally coming down on Scouse's circus, and there was nothing Super Grand could do to save it. Together. After all we've meant to each other. But you promised me you'd make me a big star, me now. A real star. You will be Wendy someday. Oh. Wait, Lash, wait. Yes, Sid was having about as much luck as the Scunner Campbell. Only four more days till Christmas, boss. I know. Not a measly Christmas card from anyone, little or a prezi. I'll give you Lord Ding Dong in a minute. Well, where are we going to now, boss? Might as well do something to cheer ourselves up, right? Well, why are we dressed up as postmen, Uncle? Because we're going to break into the post office. Aren't we stupid? Ways. We'll get our hands in a few cards and presents. <laughs> but how are we going to get in there, boss? Easy peasy, lads. <laughs> but sadly... Oh, no! We've only landed in the Bell's room. That's all I ever get landed with anyway. Keynesian humbugs. So much for the season of goodwill, eh, boss? <sighs> What's half a man's pie divided in four, lads, see? Eh? <laughs> no crackers, no cakes. No, Dustin. Father Christmas hasn't come yet. Will you lot knock off? <laughs> there must be something we can do to cheer ourselves up, be eh, lads. Washed up super grand. Oh, don't say that, Sydney Scouse. But we are. There's no doubt about it. They've cancelled all our bookings and the tents in tatters. Yeah, 
Yes, but with my super skills and super strengths, I should be able to help you somehow. If I could only figure out how. Too late, Supergram. Too late. Even for a super kind, super caring person like you, Supergram. It's Grandad's latest, greatest invention, Willie. A freezer machine. It'll freeze anybody or anything into all sorts of positions. Will it freeze your mouth shut? Show him, Grandad. Supergram, don't you think my um, freezer machine would amuse the Chiselton orphans at their Christmas party? Supergram, poor old Scouse's circus will go to the wall. It'll go to the wall. And then, unless someone does something to save it. But you've got enough on your plate organising the nativity, Supergram. Oh, you can take care of that, Mr Black. Me? <laughs> Direct? <laughs> oh, thank you, Supergram. Thank you. It was at that moment precisely that the solution dawned on Supergram. For every Christmas at Christmas, all the circuses in the country come to winter at Paddleton. Now what? Surely, you're not suggesting that Scouser Circus should take part in the Circus World Championships. But why not, Willie? Why? Because they're terrible. They're rubbish. Yes, but not with me around to help them. I I Inventor Black, can I borrow your supersonic C6, please? Of course, my dear. You may borrow anything you want. Because I need to get to Paddleton. And fast. It was a free competition open to every circus in the world, but no one had ever dared to run up against Mac McLock and his terrible tartan choco jocks. Entry number one Mac McLock and his unmentionable choco jocks lot. There's a lot going in for it this year, eh, Lofty? Eh? that old bat in the tartan? Have you room for one more circus in? Scouses, circus. Scouses? Don't tell me that lot are still in business. In that case, this could call for desperate measures. Yes, it was just at that moment when the Scunner Campbell was putting up his wingless angel that the call came. Are you, Campbell? McClock. Could it be that Christmas at the Villa Villainous wouldn't be so bad after all? Are you sure there's money in this, McClock? So as Christmas fast approached, and those carol singers still sang, Why don't you want that walk? Meanwhile, Super Granny Smith gave Sid Scouse the cheering news. What? My little circus compete with the best. And why not, Sydney Scouse? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But how, Supergram? How are we going to do it? Ah, well, no. Are you listening, Inventor Black? I'm all ears, Supergram. My great. 
great friend Gladys has agreed to be shot from a cannon. trapeze at your age, super grand. Oh, inventor Black, you're only as old as you feel, and personally I felt 26 for ages. Well, what about me, super grand? Isn't there anything that I can do? Why, inventor Black? You'd make the perfect ringmaster, of course. And I'm going to win the circus championships with this lot. Eventually, that crisp and even was the day. Dateline, Christmas Eve, minus one. Place, picturesque Paddleton. Time, circus time, folks. And in tonight's final, it had already been decided that Mac McLock would take on the toast of Toxteth, Scouse's Circus. Give it all you can. You can only do your best. It'll be our farewell performance tonight, lads. <laughs> Any last minute instructions, Mac? I'll leave the sabotage and the scouse of suckers to you, Scudder, all right? Oh, you can rely on me, McLock. So I've heard. I'll do anything for money. Next in the ring that fateful night were Petunia Preston's springboarding bobcats. And from the unmentionable Scottish circus came Samantha McCellulite and her performing poodles. And finally, Sid Scouse himself. Who will be this year's circus champions? Will it be the amateurs of Chiselton? or the pros of Paddleton. Never mind, Super Grand. You did your best for us. And we did get the most laughs. Didn't we, boys and girls? Yay! I'm not finished yet, Sidney Scouse. <laughs> and so, Scouse's Circus was proud to present the oldest swinger in town. Yes, Super Granny Smith was about to tantalize them on the trapeze. Oh, 
Campbell. We what? That old bat up there does something spectacular the night, and they could overtake us. Score-wise, Scudder, Scouse's Circus could win. The Scouse's Circus wins, Scudder. You don't get paid. Well, think about it. Get the cage in. What am I supposed to do, my flock? Let him do a few more swings, and then... You mean, Shaw? Aye. Like a stone, Scudder, like a stone. There'll be bye-bye minge bag when old tart knickers bites the dust. <laughs> Chocker jocks are relying on you, Scunner. Think of the money. I am, but. Oh, and anyway, you're always telling me how successful you'd be if that superannuated old pensioner wasn't around. Yeah! Rocky Scunner Campbell! That what, Campbell? I'd be nothing, nothing without her. I'm still waiting to be in any circus spotlight, Mr. McClock. Oh, I'll put you in the spotlight, all right, my dear. Don't you worry about that. Listen here now. You mean, Mr. McClock? Oh, yes. something inventive like our super gun will be super gun it. I know, Sydney, I know, but what? Grandad, Grandad, your freezer machine, remember? Of course, of course, my freezer. Oh, you clever girl. Now, where did I put it? Ah, here we are, got it. <laughs> it's all right, super grand. I'm here. to be super grand now, would you?
That's a good. good. Once again, Super Gran had triumphed. Scouse's Circus had won. the end of our tale? Not quite. For while everyone had been enjoying the thrills and spills of the circus that evening, next morning, disaster struck in Chiselton on Christmas Eve. Super Grand's vegetarian macaroni turkey had melted in her oven. While at the village hall, Inventor Black's indoor firework display had self-ignited setting fire to the Chiselton Orphan's Christmas presents. The Nativity Tableau was in tears. Super Gran had helped one good cause that Christmas Eve. Now she must help another. Oh, surely there must be another macaroni turkey and some prezzies and toys somewhere. Didn't I see I get even with him for sacking me a Santa? Eh? And as for Christmas, this could be our best one ever. But why would we dress like this, boss? Why? So as not to look conspicuous on Christmas Eve, of course, you, you frizzle-haired fairy. No, yeah, move on. <laughs> if it isn't we, Father Christmas. <laughs> Dear Father Christmas, oh, you'll save the Chiselton Orphans Christmas party, won't you? I most certainly won't. Hey, the villa villa list, chaps, and hurry! Oh, not oh. so fast. Santa Scanner. Oh, I might have known. Merry Christmas, minge bag. Oh. <laughs> no, push off. <laughs> it was a giant breath, a super breath, that took Santa Scanner, his fairies, and his snowman right up into the sky. Yes, Santa had arrived, and with him came crackers, balloons, a tree with lights on, and lots, lots more. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to the most super grand ever. Oh, Mr. Sidney, you shouldn't have. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, isn't it great, everyone? Santa Scanner has decided to donate the entire contents of his sleigh to the children of Chiselton. <laughs> oh, no, he won't. But yes. Eh? For you, Sue. On behalf of my department store, you special lady helped many children so much. I know this lot again. Oh, you know, I can't bear to see even a bad wee back like him unhappy at Christmas. <laughs> to you! Yay! And 
And so we close on that memorable Christmas in Chiselton, a Christmas full of hope and cheer for everyone. It tells me, it tells me that the real Father Christmas is on his way. Good we children and super grands that get to see the real Father Christmas. Three cheers for Super Grand, everyone. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Christmas to all of us here. Merry Christmas! And to you too, a Merry Christmas. Nothing that she can't do. 